granny pants, skimpy thongs, anything in between. Where'd you stand? Look, back in the days, yeah, you could do all of this. But now, I'm like, no. Like, maybe a little Brazilian thing to the side, but no. The, you know what, what? The thing is with this, it disappears on me. Like, I'm going I'm, I'm to be real. One time, I had on thongs. <laughs> yeah, had on these, not these ones, they're not mine. <laughs> I had on some thongs, and I'm, 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 I'm a fluffy girl. And I, you know, I left something downstairs, a cream. I came out my bedroom. My daughter saw me. She was like, "Mom, you've got no knickers on." I did have knickers. It's just that all the bits had folded over, so obviously the belly had folded to the side. So you couldn't see the side of the front, and the front and the legs would squash together in the belly. So it just looked like I had no knickers on. But the thongs was in there saying, "Help me!" It was in there somewhere. And I, I said to her, "I lift." I said, "Look, mommy has got. Look, I lifted." I said, Mummy has got thongs on. What are you to that? What are you talking about? From that day, I thought to myself, I'm not wearing this no more. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing. They're dangerous. I'm not wearing that. No, I'm not going any asking people to find thong. No, I'm not doing that. Wait, it could be a whole new game. <laughs> Absolute mess. You <laughs> <laughs> <I> can't breathe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being real with you. OK. So, no. bigger, a bigger pant. Yes, big, big. Like, there you That's go. That's what I'm it. talking about. <laughs> These actually might be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> oh, oh. Right. Anyway. <laughs> what was the moment that changed everything? Um, I think uh, definitely, I definitely would say, you know, being introduced to ITV and loose women yeah. and, and, and well, having a good stand I, in comedy. Well, I can videos. tell you what your moment was. We've been teasing it for the, for most of the show. <laughs> it's this clip that was your changing moment. Let's take oh a look. Oh, my gosh. I mean, who the hell <laughs> invented and designed Elephant and Castle's roundabout? I was lost for about 20 minutes. I was going round and round, ring a ring of roses, pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, me damn ras lost. It's too much. I was in South London, and at one stage, I felt like I was in East. That's the kind of roundabout that you bring your Bible with you. You bring your Bible, your Quran, you bring something with you, like a holy war, because you just want to get to the other side Say, You know what? Forget congestion, Charles. You just want people to say, now, nah, I love it. I'm not going through Elephant and Castle, yeah? <laughs> the idea of a roundabout is to lessen the traffic. Instead, there's still traffic. I felt like I was in Crystal Maze. I felt like I was on Crichton Factor. Is that even the name? Kryptonite, Krypton Factor. No, you have to be Superwoman <laughs> and Superman to get round the roundabout. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Are you actually God. driving while saying that? No, no. I wasn't driving. I'd stopped. I literally came out of it and was like, what that is this? Like... Uh, right, on to the other big news from yesterday. The I'm a Celeb lineup has been announced. Uh, the lineup includes friend of the show, Beth Callard, Vernon Kay, Victoria Derbyshire, Sarah Mo Farah, and Shane Ritchie. What do we make of that, Judy? Do you know what? I think I, I think Shane Ritchie, he just seems like a bubbly character, the guy from EastEnders. That's what I just I think I'd probably be voting for him. You, yeah. you know that he he's linked to the show. Is it? With yeah. Him? How? Is Colleen, you better not tell Colleen that. What is is what is with Colleen? No, oh, it's that's Colleen's ex-husband. No! That's Colleen's baby father. You're joking! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> no, I, listen, I need a list to know who's been with who, when they've been with who, who's who's been with and baby mother, because I don't want to be talking to the wrong person. You're joking. <laughs> no. I feel like I'm in a WhatsApp oh, group you. and I've just found out something for the first time. <laughs> 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 the WhatsApp group is going off. Where's the emojis? Where's the live emojis? <laughs> Colleen, Colleen. Yes. And Shane, Shane. Yes. Like, you know her Shane, son is Shane. called Shane Jr. Ta-da. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know what? He's definitely going to get my vote then. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> who else have you, who have you not been with? I need to find out. Holly Woo! 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 Judy Woo! Judy Woo! Judy, you didn't Judy do the Mexican way. Judy's frozen. Oh, she's literally frozen. <laughs> no, 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 she hasn't. She's just not happy with the woo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God, what is it? Wi Fi, or just give it up? The absolute <laughs> best position ever. She's oh absolutely good. Yeah. <laughs> Judy, we'll get you back, I promise, don't worry. No, let's get this clear. I did not choose it. Like Kay was saying, I wanted to be one of the cool kids and I wanted the violin. Everyone wanted the violin. And I don't know whether he was trying to match up the size of the instrument with the size of the child, because I was a <laughs> no. nice little round thing I was. And he was like, don't worry, Judy, we have something for you. And he brought out this Kodonka piece of instrument. <laughs> <laughs> which is a cello. And the problem is, where I lived, it was like a little distance from school, but it was awkward. <laughs> it was too close to take bus, but then it was long to walk. Don't I... tell me you walk. <laughs> oh, I had Judy. To... Sorry, I got my... Listen, I've got to keep this real. I've got my sliders on, right? <laughs> I'm dropping down. I had to walk. <laughs> Could you imagine? I spent this lovely little... Vi... And then I've got to walk down the street <laughs> with this cello. <laughs> Like, down you... Lee Bridge High Road with this cello. <laughs> did you used to go in the sweet shop with it, GD? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> go on, play us a tune. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I can play something. Hold on. Wait, I'll You must there. have learned hot cross bun. Wait, let's see. It does suit you. Right, let's see. <laughs> hold on, I imagine I've got a chair. God, here's... Let's see, let's see. Strum me a beat. <laughs> Strum me a beat. Strum her a beat, Stace. Go on, set her off. <laughs> Come on, girl. No, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you set me up. Is anyone raising that button? It's not even working. Oh, what? No. <laughs> the director <laughs> just said it's a prop from oh, the Oh, shit! <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is why you don't say anything on loose women, OK? Thinking of age, you know, my parents had me at late stage. My mum was, like, 48, my dad was 53, and I'll never forget going um, out with my dad to a... a we know it's a shabim. Ooh, or, a shabim. Or, a blues. or a blues. Or a blues. blues. Where you, blues. A, blues. <laughs> a blues is like a house party or it's in a little place. And, you and should, the, the old off. school blues was in the house party. Yes. And you as a kid, especially from the West Indian and African community, as a kid, you'd go in the room where the coats were held, <laughs> yeah? And you don't right. come downstairs. So I went to that party now with my dad. And I went to pipe my dad, and I was upstairs in the room, and I must have fell and cut my hand. So I climbed down the stairs. I did the thing that no black child's supposed to do with the shrubs. <laughs> I came down the stairs, and I'm little, and I'm looking for my dad, looking for my dad, and I saw his jacket. But when I looked, my dad was on the wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Dad? Dad? <laughs> By the way, might have to explain, your dad wasn't doing that to the wall. No, was he? he was dancing with someone. And the thing is, when he was dancing like this and I was pulling him, he was going, go ahead, go ahead, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's such a beautiful moment because I never forget that. I never play the tune. I never forget that moment because... And that's what I'm saying! Because I went into the kitchen, yeah? I stole all the fried chicken yeah. and I took it back upstairs to the room with the kids and they loved me. Yeah. It's our culture. Don't start me off. Don't yeah, start me off. Yeah, yeah. We've still got shows to be ladies. Uh, we can't so just sad. leave our way to the end of the programme. Yes. You don't remember that one? Yeah. Oh. Is it? Oh, She's oh here it oh, is. Yeah. Who she is. She's Ryan. Yeah. So Ryan. Quickly, Judy, Do quickly. You dollar? Yes. Dollar. Oh, oh, yes! Oh. Woo! This is exciting. Woo! Come on, Charlie! Come on, Charlie! Come on, Charlie! Oh. Name the thing you're hurting me. The heels I've got on today, lady. Dollar, dollar, Oh. Your body doesn't really matter. Looks-wise, I think, for me, like, I do... I think a bear reminds me of, like, you know, a daddy. Like, for me, who I look at and feel, like, that connection to is Trevor McDonald. Maybe because my daddy back home, he's a little bit, little bit. But Trevor McDonald looks like he would give you the right... Look at him! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he would give you the right advice and he could pay the university fees. Like, I think that's, that fits into one. Is that all you ask for on No, a dad? but he looks like he should looks be like called a dad. the daddy. Daddy. It's funny. Um, over a third of British people admit that they change their voice when they're on the telephone. Nearly half of you trying to make yourself sound a little bit more well-spoken and a third saying they want to sound more intelligent. <laughs> so are you guilty? So this morning, I mean, you made us laugh so much because you said your mum particularly... Yeah, 
like rest so you know for me i feel like it's a, a jamaican thing it's a cultural thing like my mom you know she could be speaking proper jamaican and telling you about the people there man at church <laughs> and then the phone will ring and she go oh, hello yes good afternoon <laughs> miss miss brown how is you yes i'm at the house the house is fine like it all changes <laughs> we call it as jamaicans we call it speaky spokey speaky and you would know like oh god mum's in there speaky spokey and she'd be there very po you know good afternoon sir you know to enjoy the service and then when they're gone <laughs> Literally, as they walked, she'd be like, mm -mm, I never liked what he was wearing, do <laughs> Get right back into the Jamaican, but yes, and I've picked and that if up. Did you ever call her out on that? Was oh, you ever said, why are you talking like that, Mum? I've got old school Jamaican mum with curly perm. I weren't calling out nobody. <laughs> no, no, no. I do it myself. I go to different places. What's um, your phone voice? My phone voice is very much like this. Oh, hello, hi, hi, I'm Judy, Judy Love speaking. How can I help you? Yes, yeah, I've, I've seen the advertisement. OK, of course, of course. I really stretch it and my kids, they look at me like, Mum, why are you speaking like that? I'm, I'm trying to get your posh dad, stop the noise. Hello! <laughs> so why not? Now, Judy, I said at the top of the show we had a very special surprise for her. So yeah. she generally doesn't know what this is, do you? No. So oh, it does God. require an outfit change. What? I can't tell you what we're going to put oh, you in. God. But if you it just want be to... something that fits. Well, <laughs> just make your way over to the All right. people around, over change. there. Off you go. Go and change. You'll all oh, be my. revealed. Thank God I put on some heels. I can just about walk in these shoes. <laughs> by the set. <laughs> yeah. She normally has her flip flops on. Oh, God, I can't believe it. <laughs> all right. Now, a few weeks ago, we revealed that Judy was up for the best breakthrough trophy at the Talk Telly Awards. Well, the results are in, and I have got them right here, so she doesn't know about this. Uh, so I'm very happy to reveal that the iTalk Telly Award for best breakthrough goes to... Drum roll. Do -do 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 -do. Judy Love! Judy Ooh. Love! Yay. 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 Oh, my gosh! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what camera I'm supposed to look at! Oh, my gosh! You are so... I mean, it's sort of bad words on this on TV. You're so cheeky! Well, we just... We couldn't let it go unmarked. Oh, my... Oh, thank you! Thank you! I talk telly for... My um, thank you, I talk telly for and everybody that voted for me for my award. We voted, Best, I voted. Thank you, I voted for you guys as well. Best yes. Breakthrough Act 2020! Woo! Well well oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you.